How you start your lead generation calls can be the difference in a hang up or a conversation starting. In today's video, we're covering how to have a solid introduction when you're making lead gen calls. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm Amanda. I've been in real estate over 15 years and I truly love helping new agents get their business off the ground. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell for notifications so that you'll never miss a video. Today, I'm coming to you with five tips on how to start your introduction off right. When we're making lead generation calls, there are so many scripts out there and that's totally fine if you follow a script, but I think it's really, there's a big gap on how do you actually get into the script initially and get that conversation opened up. So my first tip is do not start the call off with how are you? And I know that's hard to do because it's human nature. We all say that regularly when we're answering the phone, but what it does is create distrust because people are suspicious, particularly when they don't know you, if you're asking how they are and they don't even know why you're calling. Alternatively, I'll give you an example for if you're calling or for sale by owner, say, Hi, I'm Amanda Davidson with eXp Realty and I'm calling to get more information about your home that's for sale at 123 Main Street. Or if you're calling on expired listings, you can say, hi, I'm Amanda Davidson with eXp Realty and I'm calling to see if you're still interested in selling your home at 123 Main Street. It's direct, it's confident, it's concise, and it shows them you're not messing around, you're telling them exactly why you're calling. The second tip is don't go negative. And by that, I mean, don't put negative ideas into their head. So if you're calling a for sale by owner and start off by saying, oh, I'm sure you're getting a lot of agents calling you who don't have buyers. Yeah, they're probably gonna say they are because they probably are. And if they're not, you just put that idea in their head. If they go negative, absolutely acknowledge their feelings have a discussion about it so that they feel heard, but don't be the one that puts that idea into their head. Same thing if it's an expired listing. You know, oh, I'm sure agents are blowing your phone up and I'm sorry to bug you. Don't say that because it puts that idea in their head. And if it's not happening, they probably weren't even thinking that. So always stay positive and focus on what the outcome is that you want while being concise and direct. And if they happen to go negative, acknowledge their feelings so that they feel heard and then move on. Tip number three is always use the person's name. Everyone, every human loves to hear their name. It creates connection, it creates familiarity, and it puts their guard down. So always use their name. Don't call and say, hey, I'm looking to connect with John. Yes, there's a little bit of risk if you call and say, Hey John, this is Amanda with eXp Realty, but better to take that risk because most of the time it is the right person than call and sound like you're making a sales call. That's not getting the right introduction and it's not going to lead to you actually having a conversation, which is the ultimate goal. Be sure to always use their name. An example would be if you noticed a buyer lead was on your website and they've been browsing for homes, give that lead a call and say, Hey Carol, this is Amanda with eXp Realty. I noticed you were browsing for homes in Alexandria and I wanted to see how I can help. Number four is get to the point. And I know that sounds a little harsh, but everyone is busy. There's not a human I know that isn't busy. So you want to be concise, you want to be direct, and you want to get to your point quickly because it shows confidence on your part, but more importantly, it shows them that you respect their time. Last tip, number five, the introduction and the end of your call matter more than anything else. People probably are not going to remember the middle of the call, at least not the majority of it. So you've got to master your script for your intro, and then you have to master setting expectations at the end of the conversation. So depending on how the conversation went, that may be that you're confirming a listing appointment, it may be that you're confirming a buyer tour, or it may be that you're confirming that you're going to continue to follow up and you set that expectation. You let them know, 
hey Jim, thank you so much for your time today. I'm gonna follow up with you in a week to see how your home sale is going. And if you need anything in the meantime, reach out to me, I'm always here to be a resource. Tell them exactly what you're going to do so that they know what to expect from you. Thanks for watching. If you got some value out of this, be sure to drop me a comment below. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below as well. I hope you found this useful and I hope you put it to work in your business. As always, I will see you next week. Take care.